You know, for a moment there, I almost thought this wasn't going to be released in stores. Metal Driver here, and today I am looking at another AEW figure. It's been a while since I've looked at one, but I can't pass up on a Supreme figure, especially a CM Punk, and I was lucky enough to find this in store. I'm glad it was actually released because Walmart's... Their website kept screwing up these orders, T tons of horror stories about people getting Kennys and Cody's instead. But these are in stores, the packaging looks great, the same as we have seen before with the Supreme Collection. We see all the accessories through the window, nice image of Punk on the back. But we're not here for the packaging, we're here for the figure, but before we get to that, you fine folks have been acknowledged. And with all that being said, let's go ahead and open this up and take a closer look at CM Punk. And here we have the best in the world out of the packaging. We get a 360 look at the figure, and he comes with several pieces of accessories that include... Well, first things first, I'm going to get this hoodie out of the way because I want to get this off of the figure as quickly as possible. I've had too many bad experiences with Jazzwares Fabrics staining the figures. Now, I haven't seen images online with Punk being stained, but again, I'm not going to chance anything. So we have seen a hoodie with the Punk figures before, but this one's different. It's got the Best in the World logo on the front and the back, so the logo looks good. Now, the previous ones that we've received were the Larry hoodies with Larry's name on the front, an image of Larry on the back, and the AEW logo with AEW on the back. So this would be good. You could probably use this for, I don't know, maybe a WWE version of CM Punk. But as I said, I really hate the track record with Jazzwares and their fabric staining. So fingers crossed that that is not the case here. So let's go ahead and take this off and look in real time. All right, so here is the figure. And I still have the wrapping, the plastic wrapping on CM Punk, obviously. Now, Jazzwares does this in order to prevent staining. However, in the past, when they've included this, it didn't really do much to prevent staining. But from what I'm seeing right now, I don't see any stains. Let's get a closer look. So the chest looks fine from what I'm seeing, and the tattoos are painted pretty well. Let's go ahead and take this off if we can, without me having to go off camera. Alright, so for the most part, it looks pretty good. I don't see anything that's major. It might be subtle. I, the only staining that I do notice is right here on the shoulder. It is very faint though, so that is a big relief. It's still not perfect, but I think the better choice would have been not having the hoodie on the figure. I think that would have been the smart thing considering they've barely fixed the issue as this figure is slightly stained, but it's not too bad, so I am at least relieved that it doesn't look terrible. And speaking of things that are not terrible, the AEW World Heavyweight Championship. This looks really nice. Glad to have this. We always see these belts, although I do think for a while they did not have the triangles right here painted in white. I think that was all gold. I could be wrong. I don't have any of my other belts around me. So, good belt. We've seen this before. Looks nice. We do get this stoic head sculpt. We've seen this before with the with one of the standard punks. I think it was what the long boys we got this and the ringside exclusive. So, not a bad head sculpt. I would say it's the weakest one of the set because it is an older head sculpt. The other ones actually look really good. I think it has a better likeness to Punk. But from what we get here, painted well, good line work. Now, I was able to pick out the best one. Oop. The best one from the shelf, so that is good for me. We get this one with his snarling teeth, so I like this. Good expression, great for Punk. Great paint on the eyes, the lips, and the teeth. Missing a little bit of paint on the hair, so that... It's kind of annoying. Aside from that, I think the sculpt looks good. And then look at this screaming head sculpt. I am thankful that this looks great because in the past, Jazzwares has given us some terrible screaming head sculpts. A couple good ones, but mostly terrible. This one is pretty good. I think it has great likeness to Punk. I love the expression. The paint looks really good on the eyes, the beard, the lips. Could have maybe used a little bit of more paint on the bottom teeth. Aside from that, Love how this turned out. I love the sculpting on the bangs. So that looks nice. So some wet hair from all the sweat. And then, oh, it does look like it's missing some paint on the top. That, I don't think that's intentional. Yeah. And look at the other punk head sculpt. Yeah, that's not intentional. That 
sucks. All right, looking at some more accessories, we see the extra hands. He has this, uh, not rock and roll hands, this, was it I love you in sign language? Either way, sculpted well. It's got good paint. Tattoos on the knuckles says free. The other matching hand that looks like this says drug. That's already on the figure. And then this one also has a gripping hand that says drug right here, painted well. Uh, he has the matching gripping hand already on the figure. And then we get some fisted hands, says drug free. Let's turn that around. Looks really good with the paints. The straight edge X's look great. Taped up hands. And then we've got these hands so he can say a prayer because we all know that punk is religious, right? Haha, <laughs> no. He's atheist. Uh, no, these are his go to sleep hands and I think they're sculpted really well. These look nice. Says drug free, painted well. X's look good. But that's not all. He's got more accessories. He's got a sleeveless best in the world shirt. Printing looks really good on the shirt. I like that. It's nice that it's sleeveless. This is cool. I'm not going to put it on my punk figure because, again, I'm not going to risk staining my figure with these terrible cloth that Jazzwares uses. And he also comes with an AEW microphone, which we've seen many times before. Painted well. Looks good. And then the final piece of accessory are the extra legs that he comes with. The knee pads and kick pads have no details, just solid black. But the trunks has this camo attire, which looks pretty good, painted well. It's got the Chicago Stars painted well. Same thing on the back. So really nice. I'll show how it looks on the figure a little bit later. And then the head sculpt that's already on the figure is fantastic. I love how this looks. I think it has a great likeness to Punk. I love the smiling expression. The bangs on the front look really good, mimicking that sweaty look of Punk. That looks nice. The paint on the facial hair looks great. The teeth, the lips, the eyes, the eyebrows all look good. The hair is actually painted properly on top. Unlike uh, that alternate head sculpt, which, I mean, that kind of sucks. I didn't see it when I was picking out my figure. I was trying so hard to pick the one with the best paint apps, but you could see that, so... Ah, uh, that sucks. But what doesn't suck is this torso. I like it. I think by the way that it's cut with the butterfly joints, it makes the upper body slightly slimmer than the standard CM Punk that we got, or at least the chest, which I'm fine with, because Punk isn't really super huge. He's not really big, so I think this is a good body type. Now, we did see the paint on the tattoos earlier, but let's look at it again. Very good paint applications. I do not see anything that's majorly mispainted or looks terrible. The arms look pretty good. In fact, here's a side-by-side -side with the other Walmart exclusive Punk, so it looks pretty good. I don't see anything majorly mispainted in anything that's too terrible. This side looks fine. Pepsi logo, unfortunately, does not look like the Pepsi logo, but that's to be expected. The arms look pretty good, I believe. Actually, I'm noticing that the paint on the tattoos are slightly different from each other. Yeah, this one seems like it's applied differently. I don't know which one's more accurate, but it is worth noting. Yeah, it does look like the tattoos on this arm, on the regular version of Punk, they're all more closer together, whereas on the Supreme looks to be like they're separated, or at least further apart. Here are your taped up wrists and hands, says drug free, good paints. He's got the other rock on, I love you hand. In fact, actually, let's go ahead and put the fists on Punk. Because by having the butterfly joints, we can now properly do zoom out, properly do his pose that he does with his arms crossed. Yeah, that looks really cool. I love that. That that looks really awesome. That is worth it just for the butterfly joints. Yeah, looking at a regular AEW Punk, yeah, that's about as best as he can do. He looks like he's uh, um, stroking something. Whereas this one, yeah, perfect cross arms. See if we can bring it a little bit closer together. Yep, that's about as good as it's going to look, and it looks really good. So I know some people are crazy about the Supremes because of their price point, but uh, for me, this this makes it worth it. Straight edge tattoo across the abdomen looks good. And then look at the trunks. They're black with gold and white on the side. We've got the white stars painted well. I don't see anything that looks terrible. No bad paint, so that looks great. And then the knee pads are black, but the kick pads have the same color scheme as the trunks. And that looks really good. Let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah, great paint there. So I love how that looks. 
In fact, since I have the two punks here, let's go ahead and take the legs off this punk, take the legs off this one, see if they fit, if they look good with each other in. Yeah, actually, hmm, the waist is kind of funny. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. Yeah, it looks kind of like he's got a muffin top. Then it looks a little bit on to the side. I think you could probably fudge it a bit. As an overall look, that would be great, but yeah. I guess it's not a perfect look. You're better off with the Supreme, but just wanted to show that off in case anyone was interested in seeing how that looks. But I am certainly interested in this articulation, so he's got a hinge and a ball joint that looks that high up. That far down can turn side to side and, and tilt decently. Shoulder goes that high up. Rotates all the way around. There is a beautiful butterfly joint, a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, swivel and hinge at the wrist, ball joints at the diaphragm and the waist, so he crunches that far forward, goes that far back. He can twist at the diaphragm and slightly tilt and slightly twist at the waist. Legs go that far out. They go that high up, so... A good range there, I'm glad, because sometimes the AEW figures don't have the best range of motion, but this is pretty good. In fact, this is really good. A thigh cut, double jointed knees that aren't terribly hindered by this knee pad, so that's good. A cut at the top of the boot, ankle goes that high up, that far down, has toe articulation, and great ankle pivot. Here is the new Supreme CM Punk next to the original Walmart exclusive and the standard one with the long boys. And I showed you guys how it looked on the other Walmart Punk. Let's go ahead and see the CM Punk with, sorry, the Supreme with the long boys. See how that looks. And yeah, not too bad, but it does have that same issue with the waist. And then here's the Supreme Punk with the extra set of legs next to the ringside exclusive CM Punk. And in case CM Punk does end up in WWE, here he is next to an Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes and an Elite John Cena. Alright, I'm not going to beat around the bush or waste any time in saying what I think. I absolutely love this figure. I think Jazzware has hit a home run with this. Pretty much almost perfect in my opinion. One of those rare 10 out of 10s, or at least a 9.5 out of 10. That's how much I love this. Look, I'm a CM Punk fan. Yes, he rubs certain people the wrong way, and he handled things in AEW in ways that he should not have, but that does not take away the fact that he was certainly a draw. Many people loved him. I love him as a wrestler. And Jazzwares did a great job with this CM Punk. I think the paint applications look great. The accessories are great. The articulation is great. Yeah, the idea of having the soft goods shirt and hoodie is cool on paper, but I'm not going to risk stains, so I'm just not going to use them. I would recommend you avoid using them. But as far as Supreme figures... This is pretty much the best that you can get. In fact, I'm pretty much only collecting the Supremes with AEW figures. Kind of the unrivaled and unmatched lines have kind of not really been exciting me these days. And that's mostly due to the due to the QC issues with the staining. But this does not have the stains. At least not to the extent as the other figures. Yeah, there was a minor one, but hopefully that's not going to be the case with everyone else. So if you are a CM Punk fan, if you're a fan of the Jazzwares line, I say pick this up. And as of this recording, Survivor Series hasn't hit yet, so who knows if he's going to show up. And if you are watching this after Survivor Series and he did show up, hey... Now you've got a figure to go along with your WWE figures. So with all that being said, if you love Punk, if you're a fan, if you like collecting the Jazzwares AEW figures, pick this up. Unless you absolutely detest Punk and you hate his guts, then sure, skip it. But aside from that, great figure. Definitely a solid one. Most likely going to make my top 10 list. That's how much I'm loving it. And I would also love if you hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to see more wrestling figure reviews, click on the card at the end of the video, and I'll see you next time.